What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. The Sphinx is one of the more interesting encounters in Dragon's Dogma 2 and in this video today I'm going to help you with the first five of the ten riddles which you have to solve for the Sphinx to get all of the treasure from this encounter. Let's go. So first things first we actually need to make it all the way over to the Sphinx. Now the Sphinx encounter is actually split into two different locations. The first five riddles are at one location which is the Mountain Shrine and then the second set of riddles the last five are in a different location called the frontier shrine so our first point that we're going to is the mountain shrine and if you look at the map here and you have your uh, checkpoint rest town over here then what you're looking for is the ancient battlegrounds which sit to the north you can actually reach the ancient battlegrounds either from the left or the right I consider the left entrance to be the back entrance where you basically come in right next to a dragon fight or you can go in via the right side, which means that you can skip the dragon fight. So whichever one of those two you feel for, if you want to fight the dragon, then great. If you want to skip that encounter and just get to the Sphinx as fast as possible, then go via the right. Regardless of this, you are going to have to fight a Cyclops because as you get to the top of this ruin, you pass through this ruined, you know, castle and you will have a Cyclops sort of sleeping right in the middle there. So you gotta take care of that Cyclops. Once he's dead, you're gonna climb up this ladder here, up over the wall, and you'll have the entrance to the World's End Cavern right in front of you. Now you need to progress through this cavern and it's a little bit of a walk. It's a couple of smaller-ish enemies inside there, but you know you're on the right path when you essentially come out into an open area with a big mural of the Sphinx, which is a dead giveaway, as well as a golem enemy here that you have to fight now you can potentially sneak past this golem but just go ahead and kill it in any case and then just make your way around and you'll know you're in the right place because the name will pop up the mountain shrine and as you clear the steps at the very top there is the sphinx right in front of you so the sphinx presents you with five riddles and you can solve them in any order but we'll basically do them from top to bottom which means that the first one we have to do is riddle of eyes so basically here the sphinx essentially asks you to go into this area that they just opened up which is a door to the back to the right as you came up the stairs and this will be a small little cavern with a couple of enemies in and the sphinx tasks you with going inside there and finding an item that you would want to present to her slash it slash whatever the hell the sphinx is so simply go through the door and immediately turn around and you'll see a chest right above the door which you can just climb up on the left side and loot that's going to give you the ceiling file and then essentially just walk that back to the Sphinx and just talk with them and say that you're presenting that item to them and that will get you your first riddle solved and as a reward, a wakestone. Our next riddle on the list then is the riddle of madness where the Sphinx tasks us with finding someone and bringing them to her that we have maximum affinity with. Of course, you can go out into the world and any of the NPCs that you have given gifts to and basically have a max affinity with, you can bring them back here. But really the easiest is simply just to grab your pawn and carry your pawn over to the pedestal, put them down there and then present them to the Sphinx. You have maximum affinity with your pawn, so the Sphinx will accept this and your reward will be a port crystal for solving this riddle. My advice to you is then also just to use this port crystal and put it down by the stairs, which allows you to move away from the Sphinx area and back with relative ease without having to go through the whole ancient battleground situation again or anything, because for the next riddle, we're actually going to have to do some travel. So the next riddle is Riddle of Wisdom. And here the Sphinx tasks us with bringing back a specific kind of NPC, well, a specific kind of pawn rather, in our party. Now basically what they're looking for is a pawn with the name Sphinx Parent. However, it has been reported to me that Sphinx Father and Sphinx Mother also works. But there's a little bit of a catch here. Since players have caught on to the fact that people are trying to do this, what they've been doing is they've been creating pawns with the same naming convention as this. And in some cases, these pawns work when you bring them to the Sphinx. And in some cases, I've seen people actually not get, be able to finish this step in the quest and then fail it, which means you failed one of the riddles. And of course you have a problem. Now, whether that's true or not, I went with the good old classic method and I just went and found a Sphinx parent one. Now, specifically, you're looking for a Sphinx parent that is owned by Capcom. So it's a Capcom pawn that is created by the publisher themselves. Now you can get lucky with this and just find in any rift, you can just search through the pawns and you can actually find a Sphinx parent. But the easiest way to get access to something like this is just to go to the checkpoint rest town and right above the checkpoint rest town, you have a rift stone of fellowship. Now this kind of rift stone usually spawns 
uh, pawns with this affect sphinx in them now furthermore to ensure that you definitely get a capcom one is as soon as you get to this rift stone you can just go into the options of your game and disable network features switch it to off if you do that it basically takes all of the player created pawns out of the game and the only thing you're left with is pawns created by capcom themselves which is how you know for sure that this will work so simply hire there i was able to find sphinx parent right there immediately hire them and then simply you can travel back to your port crystal which you've put down outside the sphinx go up to the sphinx deliver the sphinx parent uh, on the pedestal and your reward for finishing this will be a thousand two hundred rift crystals our fourth riddle in the list is then riddle of conviction this is probably one of the easiest ones of them all essentially what this sphinx asks you is that they want to duplicate any item in your inventory and you need to present whichever item you want them duplicated so simply go down and go grab your port crystal in my opinion that is one of the best things to of course you can have anything duplicated in your inventory if you want to duplicate your camping kit fucking go ahead but uh i think a port crystal is probably one of the best options to duplicate since it gives you another option of a place where you can teleport to on the map and having as many of these spread around the map is obviously super super useful so simply go pick up the port crystal that you put down at the bottom of the stairs present this port crystal to the sphinx and the sphinx will copy that and hand you back two port crystals then just go put one of them down there again and you're basically ready to go for the final riddle now this final riddle is a little bit complicated i would say and that all depends on how you've been playing the game so this is called the riddle of rumination and essentially what the sphinx wants you to do is wants to go back to the place where you picked up your very first seekers token i was super lucky because of course i'm making guides for the game so i've literally documented every single you know thing that i've picked up in the game so i knew that my first seekers token was right at the beginning here where you start the game right above this first camp that you hit as soon as you you know basically uh, come from that prison where the game starts so i simply went up to this location where the seekers token was and you can get your finders token there and that is the item that the sphinx is looking for now i suggest what you can also try and do is possibly go to the oracle and have the oracle try to tell you where you can find the sphinx uh sorry where you can find the seeker token but the bottom line is this before you start this step know that you only have seven days to get to this location if you exceed the seven days in other words you rest too much or something like that you waste too much time then you will automatically fail this riddle so bear that in mind there is a time limit to this now when you take this back to the sphinx before you actually give it to the sphinx i want to present you with two potential options that you have here know this that as soon as you give the sphinx this token you're going to pass the fifth riddle and the sphinx will open that fifth chest for you and then stand up and then depart for the frontier shrine at this point in time you can either stay behind loot that fifth chest and then make your way organically over to the frontier shrine or i can present you with a second option and that is as soon as you finish the conversation and hand them the finders token you jump and grab onto the sphinx and ride them to the frontier shrine the second location where we will do the last five riddles so this will give you an opportunity of essentially skipping a lot of like let's say not difficult combat but more like tedious combat on the way to the frontier shrine and you can just sort of like get a head start on finishing the rest of the riddles now riding is a little bit of a i would say a stinky affair because the first time you do this you don't know exactly you know which parts of it is dangerous and where you can fall off the bottom line is nobody in this game will have a big enough stamina encounter to hold on to the sphinx for the entire journey so you have to know which areas it's okay for you to release and just stand on the sphinx and when you should be holding on and the good news is it's actually quite easy for the first part of the journey the sphinx's flight is super stable and you can just stand for that initial part where you grab on you can as soon as they clear up and they level out you can just stand on top of this on top of the sphinx but once you get past the checkpoint rest town and you start gliding down towards this cave area here and as soon as you hit the mouth of the cave you should grab on and hold on to the sphinx because at this point in time the sphinx will start sort of like heading up and you will be hit with wind from the front which can knock you off the swings and will most probably kill you as soon as you hit the cave floor nonetheless if you do this right you will land at the location the frontier shrine where the sphinx is located for the last five riddles and you will automatically be ready to go in solving these 
Now also at this point in time, if you've gone with the second option, just go ahead and take that duped port crystal that you got from finishing the Riddle of Conviction, put that down on the stairs there, and then what you can do is you can just use one of your one of your uh, uh, fairy stones and travel back to the mountain shrine, go get that fifth chest, which is another three fairy stones, and then pick up that port crystal and then use another fairy stone to get you back to the frontier shrine. So just a little bit of a you know quick way that you can get to this location. Of course, you can completely just ignore all of this and just loot that fifth chest and then just go back to the checkpoint race town and make your way to the frontier shrine organically. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful in any way, please consider liking, subbing, and commenting on the video, as well as checking the description of this video for a link to a Discord server of like-minded gamers if you want to join. I also stream on Kick every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Love to see you over there. But as always, it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Till next video, fucking cheers.